Hi girls and welcome to Art Tutorial 7. This is our final art tutorial and we are going to assemble all our images in this art tutorial. Great girls, but before we carry on with the art tutorial, I want to share with you this beautiful mask with the robins on that Mrs. Willemse gave to me as a gift. She sews these masks and one can breathe wonderfully through them. Ah! <laughs> you see how lovely it is. Oopsie daisy. Ah, isn't that nice? It's, that is so precious. Mrs. Willemse and Sophia are also creating this artwork. So I had to share this lovely robin bird um, mask. That when she saw the fabric, she had to buy it, especially because, um, as I say, she and Sophia are doing the artwork and she blessed me with this beautiful mask. Right, girls. So now let's carry on. What, once you've um, obviously color blended all your images and you've cut them out, now I just want to say when we started this artwork, all the shops were closed, but now CNA is open and you can buy the bigger sheet of paper, the A2 size. However, if, if you for some reason can't get to the um, CNA or Waltons, you can, you can just take your pieces of paper and very carefully put them very exactly next to one another where they make contact and then you take your cellar tape and you you um oopsie there we go and you carefully make sure there's no gap in between and you carefully oopsie that got a bit dirty i pulled it off the table here it took a bit of the the wood varnish but never mind and you put a piece of sellotape at the top, make sure it makes contact very well, and then at the bottom as well. Okay, if it doesn't make such great contact, just redo it so there's no gap in between. Great, and once you're happy with it, then you put a whole strip of sellotape down, and then you've got your larger. Obviously, with the A2 size, you would put four pieces together. Okay, I did this. With this artwork I did, I did um, stick two pieces of A4 together um, to create an A3 size. And when I color blended, it color blended very, very well. Right, so you can't actually see where they have been stuck together. Okay, girls, but otherwise. You can go to CNA or Walton's and buy an A2 size paper. Great, so now, now you position your, your robin bird and your frangipanis and your leaves. You position them carefully and you have to consider your negative spaces. Remember the, the frangipani and the robin, all your images and the leaves, they are your positive spaces. And the spaces behind and in between are your negative spaces. So, so you have to consider your negative spaces when you when you place down your, your images. Your, right, so, so, so just remember that they have to be interesting. Right, great girls. And then once you've done that, just carefully look how they, the, the dynamic of how they work together. Like that might not work as well as that. You slightly put it at an angle, for instance or that overlapping there, so that fits in nicely, you create an interesting shape. Right, good. so once you've done that, then as you see with my little one, okay, we've, we've, we've um, drawn and color blended the branch there and we've cut it out, but just so these frangipanis don't float, we're actually going to draw the branch directly onto the paper, as, as you see there, the little branches that of, of these flowers so then you also draw in a branch there and here a branch and here a branch again consider your negative spaces as you see that branch goes like that so it's nice having a branch coming in like that so they work well in the composition this one coming in again there and this one coming in there that branch so they all work well together Right, girls. 
Great. And now, once you've placed all your, your images, what you do is you outline them. Okay. So you know where you have to glue them once you've color blended the background. So you outline that one and you can call that one, which is number one, number one. Okay, and we carry on like that. That would be number two, because now number two, etc. So you do that. Remember to write the numbers on the back, and then, and then once you've done that, obviously you're just going to color blend where the um, negative shapes are. You don't have to obviously color blend over the the, the shapes where your leaves and your frangipani and your bird are going to be. Right, so you do that all along and then once that's done, you've taken them all off and then you color blend the background and then I will, st I'm, I'm going to do that as well now and then I'll see you within a while. Okay girls, thank you so much. <laughs> Hi girls, I'm, I'm back again sooner than what I thought. The reason being, I just looked at the video and I just want to explain two things very quickly, make them more clear. So the first one is once you've stuck your two little bits of sellotape, you take your sellotape and you a long strip and then you stick it down like that. Great. And then obviously you would trim the ends so then that is nice and secure. Right, and then you cut that little bit off and that little bit. So that's the one thing. And then the other thing I noticed also on the video that you couldn't actually see those branches very clearly. So you, you see that's how I drew them. There we go. And then that one coming in like that. So that makes an interesting composition. Great. And I think you did see the bottom one curving in which also works well with that one curving in. Okay, girls, excellent. I'll see you later again. Bye. Hi, girls. Welcome back. Great, girls. So now, as you can see, I have color blended the background of, um, of the Robin and Frangipani and Leaf picture. And let me just quickly show you the colors that I have used, well, as you see, it's all blues. And let me show you quickly, make a quick demo here. I started with the white. Then I went into the light blue, going over the white and light blue. Going back to the white and blending the light blue in. As you can see down there. See that part there? And then I'm... Um, I did quite a bit of the light blue, so I wanted to keep the picture quite fresh. And then I went into this next um, shade of blue. There we go. And then I went with the blue over it. Okay, just, just focus here. I'll just try and see what the name of that other blue is for you. Um, that is the cobalt blue, girls. This is the cobalt blue, and the, the light blue is, is very obvious. Right, and then I went to the co cobalt blue, and I went over the cobalt blue, and then I went to, I think this is the ultramarine blue, is the next one I went over. And then again with the blue, I, I wanted to keep it light and fresh, so I went over... Or the, both the coal, cobalt and the ultramarine are covered with this light blue as well. Okay, so, so there, there, there is this combination. Okay, just in the bigger picture too. Great, so there's that combination. Okay, girls, and now I just want to show you some more examples of what you can do. Here you can use, remember I said for the blue butterfly you would use the complementary, which is orange. You could use the orange background. And then I also used a blue frangipani. I just, that's my own creation. I don't know if you get blue frangiponis. I don't think so, but I used my artistic license there. And then the rainbow, which is usually from red, purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, back to red. And then it would be purple again, blue, green. Okay, so, so let me just show you. That's also quite... 
for that color combo. I used the white, I started with white, and then I went on to the yellow, the lemon yellow over the white. Nice and light. Look here, we are blending. Oopsie. Always remember to keep your colors clean. Right, and then I think the next yellow would be the, the um, I think it's the chrome yellow, yes. Right, girls, and then you go on to the orange, yes. Now, hang on, you go on to the next one, that's this yellow orange in between. Okay, so you go from light to dark, yellow orange, and then the orange, and then the vermilion. Vermilion, and then the scarlety red. Okay, so that's that color combo for that background there. Right, girls, and then just for the fun of it, I did a nice funky artwork as well. So you've got lots to keep you busy, <laughs> no reason to get bored. And I just quickly want to show you the color combo of of this one. This one um, with the with the rainbow butterfly is um, let me just see. Okay, so 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 I use the basic rainbow colors here, starting with the very dark Prussian blue. I just want to show you the color combos quickly. The very dark Prussian blue that's now in the frangipani. Then I went to the purple. Just show my love. Yeah, there we go. Then I went over the purple with it. Then I went with that red. Okay, so I went, made it nice and dark. And once you know how it works, once you've finished with the red, you go to the Fermil Yun. And then you go to your orange. And then you carry on with the rainbow, the rainbow combination. From orange, you move to yellow. Let's just show it together here. From orange, you move to yellow. And then I went from yellow to lime yellow. And then to this very light green. Okay, so it's basically the rainbow combinations just intensified the Prussian blue, the purple. Just show here too, please. The Prussian, both both at the same time, thanks. The Prussian blue, the purple, the red, and then all your oranges, your yellows, and your light green. And then it went, and then I finished off with, with this green there. Okay, girls, and then also you can see the, the leaves. Also, it's a dark blue, a lighter blue. Also going like the rainbow range, from, from the blues to the greens to the yellows. And there again, I did the same as, as this intense tonal shading with, with those leaves. I did the same. Okay, girls. And then here again, it's like the rainbow colors. They work from blues. Just show here too, please. They work from, from, um, from just both here, the blue. And the rainbow, please. Show the rainbow to me. Thank you. Can you just make it a bit smaller? Thanks. Great. The, it works from blue to green to yellow. Okay, so it's that combo. Excellent, girls. So there we've got all the different possibilities of color blending. Great. And now let's go back to assembling our collage great so so I have stuck down quite a few leaves already but I just wanted to show you with the bird with the bird what you can do I know we cut through the branch there what you can do now is you can just take a little piece of paper hello a little piece of paper and some print and then you glue it and then just look here please by the branch here then then you would connect the two okay great excellent girl so now we're going to um 
turn your images, your collage pieces, your bird, your frangipani and your leaves upside down. And we're going to, well, the frangiponis, we're going to use wood glue. For the images that we glue directly onto the paper, we use Prit. And then the frangiponis, because we glue them onto the leaves, it's a little bit tricky because you, the, the um, Prit doesn't stick to the oil pastels because of the oil in it. So we are going to actually use wood glue when we, when we stick the frangiponis onto the oil pastel leaves great girls so now also always use paper underneath when you glue so you don't get glue on your table okay great some scrap paper great so now carefully place your robin excellent Let's see there See, a little bit up. Great. You might have to find that you need to touch up here and there around. You might maybe have left out little bits of background color. Okay, great girls. Excellent. So that's been stuck on. And now we do the same with the frangipani leaves. I have done most of them. I'm just showing, I'm just going to show you these two leaves and then I will show you, that's number 10, number 10, we position it nicely over the branch, so the branch, uh, uh, oh my gosh, the veins all go out this way for me. Girls, and now remember in my one tutorial I said it's up to you how many leaves you want to use. Here I use the five big ones and the five small ones, but as you can see, with the other frangipani um, flowers, I only used five leaves because I didn't want it to get too busy because I'm using all these different colors frangipani flowers. Great girls, so let me quickly um, glue the other leaf. There we go. Put that on number one. And now I'm going to do my flower. Now you see where that X is? Can you see that X? I put an X underneath my petal. So I know that is exactly where, just come close please, where the X is and the X, they meet up. So I know that is going to be the position of my flower. Right, so now I'm going to use some wood glue. Right, take some wood glue, put it in a tray, a little polystyrene tray, your paintbrush, take your flower, oopsie, there we go, and now you paint the back of your flower with the wood glue. A little bit more. Great. Girl. So, like I say, the the print sticks on the paper, but because the flower, the the the, the surface that you're going to stick the flower onto is mainly the the leaves with oil pastel on, and the print just doesn't seem to stick to the oil pastel. It must be the oil in the pastel, but the wood glue fortunately does. So there we go. And then we see where our X is, our symbol, carefully place it all around. Great. And there we go. You can take a, a piece of paper, I'll just slide this out, press it on top and smooth it out. Great, girls. Okay, girls. Great, so now you have um, completed your collage, stuck on all your images. And girls, I just want to ask you, please, um, at this stage, I, you can let me know when you come back to school. 
that you have completed it. And I will make you a nice big folder and give it to you so that you can bring your artwork to school. Because I would like to frame it for you. Um, I've got black paper at school, so I can frame it for you at school. And then it will be complete and it will go on an exhibition, the lockdown exhibition. Great girl, so please let me know. Don't fold it, don't bring it to school yet. Um, I will provide folders for you to bring it to school into. Okay, thank you so much, girls. I'll see you now, now. <laughs> Hi, girls. Um, I just quickly want to explain to you, in case you did, you, you did your collage where your leaves overlap over your, um, your, your background color blended um, sheet of paper. Now, you, what you would do, okay, you can either also buy a big sheet of black paper at CNA or Walton's and obviously you would frame it and then you would glue your, your bits of leaf that overlap onto your frame or as I did in level 5 when, when only the A4 paper was available what you can also do and if you've only got A4 black paper because it is a bit flimsy bringing it to school with this, these little leaves lapping over you want to secure them you don't want to damage damage them then you measure the, the overlap here is four centimeters and that's also four so that black frame is four centimeters all round so what you would do is you take your ruler you measure four centimeters on the top four at the bottom then here also four centimeters and four centimeters we measure on on both ends so that we can get a nice straight line was that four yes that was four that was four let me just stand up there we go then you draw your your four centimeter by four centimeter frame and then you would glue that with the overlapping leaves, they would then be glued onto that section. Right, girls, and then obviously on the other piece of A4, you would also measure your 4 by 4. Do you understand? 4 by 4, and that would go under that corner. And then you would do the same for each corner. So there would be your 4 by 4, your 4 by 4. Okay, and then when you glue it on, you just make sure that um, this line is nice and straight. Okay, so as you can see, I glued on my four different pieces that I um, that I measured right around. So you measure them first, each corner. So that would be four by four, or so that side. Okay, and then four by four there, and the same on that side. Great girls, thank you so much. Thanks, okay, and then I'll see you now, now again. Hi girls, we've come to the end of our first um, series of art tutorials and I thoroughly enjoy teaching you online. It's been a whole new experience for all of us. And um, yes, these are the various possibilities that you can create with this collage as you can see lots of different um, of options and here's also one that um, let me just get this right that that I photographed oopsie there we go can you see that is that is this this frangipani and that one and all these frangipani flowers that you can even paste on black paper with the leaves so there are very very many different options that you can do great girls so um, if you get bored you know what to do there's lots of different um, varieties here to choose from and um, yes I hope you enjoy I hope you enjoyed this um these art tutorials and i hope you enjoy creating even more different um 
kind of images collage together. Okay, girls, thank you so much. And just hang on one moment before I go. Let me do my final greeting. Bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.